Hey everybody, I'm BC and welcome to my video guide on how to use the new power that has been impl implemented into the Planet Nomads as of version 0.8. Uh, before we had the new power, it was basically a matter of just going up to a generator and connecting it to everything. But as you can see, we can only connect to one thing now. Uh, the, ad uh, the addition to the power network, power system I should say, mechanic, is a switchboard. This little magic thing is all we need to do everything that we need to do. Uh, because the generators can only connect to one thing, uh, you have to connect the, each generator up to a switchboard. The switchboard is basically a central hub. It allows you to connect it to generators. So I can connect it to these two generators, as you can see. Go ahead and connect it to the printers, the stasis chamber, uh, food and drink machine, that's what it is, lights, and anything else that you may have to connect to. Uh, I am in creative, so it's not just showing the infinity on the generators right now, but I do believe the number that, the percentage that's dis displayed is the overall consumption of its max capacity. So I got the two printer, huh, or something like that. Oh, no, 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 that's combined, because I got, I got this one off, on. So there we go. So the... the Biomass generator produces 5,000 units of power, even though it says only 500 there. Or actually, no, this does do 500. It was a, this big guy here that was changed up to 5,000, so they did change that. I don't know what the 2M is for, but... So anyways, that's it's telling you you can use 500... that It produces 500 units of power. The amount of fuel that's being used is in relation to how much power is actually being consumed. Uh, you look at different things here. For instance, the food and drink machine, it uses 50 power. Uh, you look at the medium greenhouse, is 50 power. The printers are... 50 power is actually better than what they used to be. They used to be 150. And then same thing with uh, like lights, for instance, are only 10. Uh, the miner is a little heavier at 200. And so on and so forth. Uh, the batteries also do produce some power. I don't know exactly how much power they produce because they hold the charge. And they've changed a little bit too. And we'll get to that in a second here. So, yeah, with that being said, uh, the where it says infinity will just tell you how long the gener generator will last with the amount of fuel that's in there. Uh, when the number changed when I had the second generator hooked up, that was accounting for both of them combined. So if this is doing 5,000, this is doing 5,500, or 500, then they're combi combined doing 5,500 units of power. So it's only u utilizing 6% of its maximum capacity. And I've had someone actually get a little confused about that. They had four, four generators running. They were saying 22% at 32 hours. But with just one generator, it's 88% at 8 hours. Well... You know, you got four four times the generators producing four times the amount of power for the same amount of usage. Of course, it's going to go down in a quarter. But anyways, so that is that. So that works with, uh, as you can see, any buildings and lights and anything that requires power. All you need is a switchboard. You place down your generators. You place down your machines or whatever you need to use or you want to power. And you just go to the uh, switchboard here and you select the collect connect icon and connect everything. Uh, as I said, it cannot work with a generator since this generator is already connected to this switchboard. It will not connect to another generator, it will not connect to a wheel, it will not connect to another switchboard. It only has one connection. Um, no, I haven't with the addition of the switchboard, as you notice, there's an E. So you can actually use this as a primary switch to actually turn everything on and off. So if you want to save power when you're gone, just go like that instead of having to go up to each individual machine and going in here and shut it off this way. Uh, they do have hotkeys for that, but it, it takes time. This is just so much easier. You don't even have to open up the config menu. You can even do it with build vision off, which makes it great. Uh, if, for instance, you need to go a further length, uh, the these only go, the connections only go like 40 blocks. So let's disconnect these for now. And let's say you, you want to have yourself an off-site uranium mining operation. So you drop a miner down there, you connect it, put some conveyors over, you stick a refinery here, you set this to mass produce the uranium rods, you have that miner selected to only mine the uranium, if there's uranium there, that is. And then this will automatically produce the rods, which will automatically be fed into this generator. Now you can have this as far away as you want. I haven't really done any testing as how far the power grids can go. But in this case, once again, we go back into build. Vi no, we were in build mode. 
and that's not a switchboard, that's a switchboard. Now, despite the confusion, oh, you can't, I can't actually do it because it's on the ground, but if I were to actually place this on a generator or anything else, it does not power it. You still have to connect it, so I'm just going to place it in the ground. Now that's the wrong button, go here, and then we connect to the generator, connect to the refinery, connect to the miner. Of course, you do have to have some starter fuel in here until your first rod comes out, but as long as you got a high enough source, it should be good. Now, let's say this is more than 40 blocks away than your main connect connection hub. You can just stick another one in here, stick a block on that, and we can actually use this one here. Let's get that out of my hand. I wish it was a quick way to take the block out of your hand, but you go here, connect this switchboard to that switchboard, and then you connect it over all the way over here to that switchboard. So now you have offsite generators producing power for your, for your base. Uh, the same works with the uh, vehicles. Uh, I'll show you. I built a battery of a battery diversion to show you how to recharge them, and I never did put the switchboard on this because that was part of the video. So we can take that down. It's a really soft suspension, and then same thing. We go on here. We just connect this up to the four wheels, and I got eight batteries on this for some reason. The four and eight. Alright, so let's say, well, if you run out of juice, you're toast no matter what, but we're getting solar panels, so that's going to help. But let's say you want to charge your bat uh, charge your rover up. All you have to do is you just connect, connect that switchboard to any other switchboard that has power. And as you can see, as, as you can see by the green icons, it is actually charging the batteries. And that is, uh, it's really simple. You just place everything down, place your switchboard, and your switchboard does all the work for you. But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I thank you all for watching. I uh, hope it helps out, and I shall see you next time. Later.